Okay, so this is going to be an overview of the .NET Nuke content management system that we use at Clarity Ventures. And this is truly an enterprise content management system. .NET Nuke stands as one of the most prominent content management systems that's available today for, uh, for open source content management systems. So it's, it's got 6 million plus downloads. It's very easy to use. It's proven. It's been around for almost eight years now. There are a lot of SEO-friendly um, adjustments that were made to the CMS system, and this is truly a content management system. So this is not a blogging engine that was used a lot and turned into a content management system. It was intended and built around being a content management system. It's got over 8,000 modules, and a lot of these are open source and, and, and free, or they're available through a directory of modules that really match up to the specific needs that you need. .NET Nuke is secure and reliable, fast load times, and it's enterprise ready. And from Fortune 500s like Disney and Microsoft to you know the U.S. Army, Navy, and groups, organizations like NASA, a lot of different groups use .NET Nuke. So what are we going to cover today? We're going to take a look at how you can quickly log in create pages and content on the pages, images, links, PDFs, video, and written training documentation that we provide. We'll briefly cover the SEO-friendly aspects of the system because it's pretty easy to cover that uh, briefly. We'll also take a look at the e-commerce functionality, and we'll briefly cover that as well. And then, again, just to highlight that this is an enterprise-ready system. And this is really built on the ASP.NET platform and it's compatible with the latest versions of .NET. So whether it's ASP.NET 2.0, 3.5, or 4.0, .NET Nuke is ready to sit on your Microsoft stack, or we're ready to provide hosting on a .NET stack that, that can integrate with your systems that you already have in place. That makes it really easy to, you know, to use as a turnkey system. So I'm going to keep this slide up, and we'll go ahead and get started with the demo here. So I'm just going to go to my demo site. And this is how you would load up your content management system and make changes. So you would just go to your site and typically provide a login link. If you want for security, we can provide just the link and you can directly go there without having the link listed on your site. I'm going to put in my username and password. And now we're going to see a different view of the content management system once we're logged in. So you can see I've, I've got a few extra buttons on the page so I can edit content, I can change the settings, I can add or remove panels up here in this rotator and you can see it automatically rotates. I can go to my admin or host menu items and you can see I also have a top control panel that comes out. And this gives me access to different functionality that, frankly, we won't have time to cover today. You can read more about this, though, by going to .netnuke.com or by checking out some of the other resources we have available at clarity-ventures.com. Okay, so with that said, what we're going to cover today is, you know, how do you add pages and content? Just keeping it really simple. How do you add images, links, PDFs, etc.? and how do you modify and manage content on your site. So first we'll just take a look at how you add a page. So I'm logged in and over here under common tasks I'm going to just add a page. And you can see whenever I do that I get a page settings area. The page name is what shows up in the menu. So that's going to show up here whenever you roll over these menu items. That's what actually shows up in the menu itself. So we're going to do a test page, and then the page title is for SEO purposes. So this is your meta tag for the title of the page. So this is so this is a sample page title, Clarity Ventures. Okay, so that's that. You can also put a meta description or keywords, 
and you can also tag this. I won't go into a lot of detail on all of this because you can see there's a lot that I can I could show potentially. Just to keep it simple, you can specify a parent page. So any page within your site hierarchy, you can directly specify as the parent page. In this case, we're just going to specify this as a resources page. So this page is going to go under resources. You can also specify whether or not the page shows up in the menu. So this is nice if you want to have a landing page that folks don't see on the site, but that's still available for your marketing or sales group to point to. It also might be nice to have as a quick links for your internal team to have access to. So you can include or disclude. And then out of the box, this is an enterprise ready system. And the reason I say that is because it has a role based security that allows you to give or limit access to each page on your site and each module within a page on your site. So pages are broken up into modules and each section of the page can be a module and you can give or limit access to each part of the page. So this is great. Right now I'm going to show this for all users. If I wanted to I could give certain roles access to view or edit the page. So this allows you to manage who can make changes and updates to the site. For simplicity, we'll go ahead and add this page. Okay, so now you can see I have a default page. It gives me a standard template, so I don't have to worry about learning any technical background to add and, and manage pages on my site. So here's my test page that I just added. Now I can go in and click on edit content on my content area and start adding new content. So it's that easy. All you have to do is log in and follow a few simple steps to manage your website. So here you can see we're using a what you see is what you get editor. And what I can do is literally add images, format content, add links, add PDFs. I can even add interactive media if I so choose. And a lot of clients add YouTube videos and that type of thing really easily. So copy and paste type of functionality. Today I'm going to demonstrate how you can just simply add a few paragraphs of text and then format that so it looks good within the site. Now what I typically do if I want to add some content is I go to another page that I like and I just copy and paste that content. So I'm just going to find an article that we wrote and I just right click copy and then I'm going to come in here to my editor and paste that in. Okay, so now you can see I've got some content. And let's say I want to add an image. So what this is doing is it's looking at the server and it's finding all the images that are available for me to use. I don't have to worry about finding the actual path to these images or you know learning anything technical about that all I have to do is select the image that I want to use and in this case let's let's use this dynamics image and then I can change the properties so if I want I can align this to the left and maybe give this a margin so maybe on the right side we want to do a 10 pixel margin and on the left side a 10 pixel margin okay so we're gonna insert that and now you can see all my text wraps around that uh, that image. You can also add links pretty easily. So we'll just ha have a link to Clarity and I can click on this link icon to add a link. We can link to a page on the site or we can link to another website or a file. So this is how you can link to a PowerPoint presentation, a PDF, or a Word doc, or etc any files that you have on the site you can link to. You can also send those links to a new window if you so choose and you can also put email addresses in here. This is great because you can add a subject line so you can identify what page someone came from or what it is that they're asking from you um, within the actual email that they send you. So with that said we'll just add a quick link to the home page for simplicity again and we'll set that to open into a new window and I'll say okay so now you can see that turned into a link uh, for home okay so let's say I wanted to modify that I can just right click go to properties and 
it did say Clarity before, so I'm going to change it back to that. There we go. At, at Clarity, we provide a complete walkthrough of your system with a written documentation and video documentation before we take your site live. You can refer to this documentation over and over again, and it's interactive and easy to use. Now, with that said, if you want, one of the powerful things about .NET Nuke is you can engage the publishing functionality. And this is great. So you can decide to preview before you publish to the site. So if you leave this box here unchecked, then it's going to let you view your changes without anyone on the public site being able to see those changes. So you can see what it's going to look like. And I'll just demonstrate that here. So I'm going to save without publishing. You'll see that I get a little publish icon down below. Now I'm logged in and I can see these changes. If I go in a different browser, to the site and we'll just go here using Internet Explorer you'll see it's going to show the previous version of the site and, and there you see it doesn't have any content because it's a new page so I haven't published anything yet and no one can see those changes so as soon as I publish then they'll be able to see the the changes that I made okay so here is the article now and I'm just going to refresh this page and after I publish it you can see a public visitor and keep in mind I'm on a different browser so that's why it's it's perceived as a public visitor I'm in Internet Explorer and in Internet Explorer I'm not logged in so you can see that it's allowing me to uh, view this content that was published okay great so that's a really powerful functionality about this content management system Okay, so thanks for watching the first half of the video demo overview. If you would, please continue on to the second video to conclude this presentation. Thanks.